Hello students, today we will discuss some standard formulas which are very important for solving limits. Okay, now with this. In 11th class, you already learned limit x to 0 sin x by x equal to 1. Okay, formula number 2. Limit x to x to a sin x by x by x is equal to 1. But condition is if x equals to a. This f of x tends to 0. Okay, a condition on the a condition satisfy on the child. Okay. Formula number 3. Limit x to 0 tan x by x is equal to 1. Similarly, limit x to a tan f x by f x is equal to 1. But the condition, the condition is if x equals to a, f of x tends to 0. Okay. Formula number 5. Limit x to 0 e power x minus 1 by x is equal to 1. Next formula. Limit x to a e power f x minus 1 by f is equal to 1. Same condition. What is the condition? If x equals to a, then f of x tends to 0. Okay. Next. Formula number 7. Limit x to 0 c power x minus 1 by x. That is log c. Limit x to a c power f x minus 1 by f x is equal to log c. Condition, same condition. Okay. Formula number 9. Limit x to 0 log 1 plus x by x is equal to 1. If we replace x by f x, then the formula will be limit x to a log 1 plus f x by f x is equal to 1. Condition is, if x approaches to a, then this f x tends to 0. 11 formula, limit x to 0, 1 plus x whole power 1 by x. That is equal to e. Limit x to a, 1 plus f x whole to the power 1 by f x, that is also e. Condition is, same condition, if x approaches to a, then f of x tends to 0. Formula number 13. Limit x tends to a. 1 plus b to f x whole to the power c by f x is equal to e to the power b c. Condition, if x approaches to a, f of x tends to 0. Okay. Next formula. Limit x tends to 0. 1 plus b x whole power 1 by x. That is e power b. You have to remember this formula which is very important. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now some expansion formula. 1. e to the power x. That is 1 plus x by e factorial 1 plus x square by factorial 2 plus x2 by e factorial 3 and so on. e to the power minus x means a x is replaced by minus x. That is 1 minus x by e factorial 1 plus x square by e factorial 2 minus x cube by e factorial 3 plus double. Okay. Now, a to the power x. a to the power x can be written e to the power x log a. Now, replace x log a in place of x. We get 1 plus x log a by factorial 1 plus x square log a whole square by factorial 2. Plus x cube log a whole cube by factorial 3 plus double. Okay. Log 1 plus x. That is x minus x square by 2 plus x2 by 3 minus x4 by 4 plus double. Okay. Log 1 minus x. That is minus x. Minus of x square by 2 minus of x2 by 3 minus of x4 by 4 minus double. Okay. All terms negative. Okay. 1 by 1 plus x to the power n. That is 1 plus n x plus n into n minus 1 by 1 into 2 into x square plus n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 by 1 into 2 into 3 into x square plus dot. Okay? Here n is any number. Any integer. Okay? Positive, negative, fraction. Okay? Now, no one. Fx is said to be defined at x only. That means fx is only defined at x only. What do you mean? But suppose you have a function fx equal to x square minus 1 by x plus 2. We say this function fx is 
you will define r x to the power. That means what? If you find f of 1, that means you have to substitute x to the 1 in this expression, we get 1 square minus 1 by 1 plus 2. 1 square over 1 square 1, 1 minus 1 upon 3, that is 0. This is the finite number. So we say this function is equal to pi r x to 1. Okay? That means it's a real number. So we write f x is equal to pi r x to a if f of a is a finite number. Means a real number. Okay? Note 2. F x is not defined at x to a. What do we mean? That means f of a is meaningless or not finite or imaginary. That means what? Look this example. Suppose f x is equal to x square minus 9 root of 1. We have to find the value of f of 2. Look this. f of 2 is equal to how much? 4 minus 9 root of 1. That is minus 5 by root of 1. This is root 5i, which is the imaginary number. So, in this case, we say this function is not well defined at x equal to 2. Okay. Now, continuity at a point. How to check a function is continuous at a point? Continuous of a graph means there is no break or no hole, no gap on that graph. That is continuous means regular. But mathematical the definition yeah. The definition is a function fx is said to be continuous at the point x equal to a. That condition is if linear x tends to a f of x is equal to f of a. Here so f of a, this value is called direct value. A of A is called direct value or value of A fx at x equal to A. But limit x tends to A fx, A is a limiting value. Limiting value of fx at x to A is equal to direct value of fx at x to A. If these two values are equal and finite, then we say this function is continuous. Okay? That means uh, look this, limit the expression a and x exists, exist means it gives a finite number. Since limit exists, therefore we say left part limit is equal to right hand limit, this both finite. So we can write also, if the left hand limit is equal to right hand limit is equal to direct value. If these three values are equal and finite, then we say a x is continuous at x to a. Okay. Now some examples, right? Type 1. If a fix to five x at x to a, how to check continuity of this function? Okay. Look this example. Suppose you have a function 3x plus 11 bracket at x equal to minus 11 by 3. This is a bracket function, greatest integral function. So you have to check this function is it continuous or not at the point x equal to minus 11 by 3. For continuity of a function, we have to find three values. Number one, number one, direct value. Number two, left hand limit. Number three, right hand limit. Functional value, left hand limit, right hand limit. If these three are equal, then we say this function is continuous. Okay? Otherwise, that is discontinuous. Okay. Now, look. now, value of fx at x equal to minus 11 by 3. Now, here, f of x is equal to 3x plus 11. Now, f of minus 11 by 3, that is put direct x is equal to minus 11 by 3. So 3 into minus 11 by 3 plus 11. Now 3, 3 cancel. So minus 11 plus 11, that is 0. 0 is an integer, so its bracket will be 0. So this is the direct value 
or functional value of reflex at x to the minus 0 by 3. Now to find left hand limit, that means left hand limit L x L at x equal to minus 11 by 3. Now to find this, this is minus 11 by 3 minus 0. That is limit x tends to minus 11 by 3 minus a of x. What is your reflex? Your reflex is 3x plus 1. Sorry, 3x plus 11 bracket. That is limit x after just to 0 plus a of minus 11 by 3 minus x. Now put x is going to minus 11 by 3 minus x in this function. So we get limit x approaches to 0 plus that is 3 into 3 into minus 11 by 3 minus x plus 11 plus 11 ok that is limit x approaches to 0 plus now open the bracket minus 11 minus 3x plus 11 plus 11 minus 11 fourth cancel so we get limit x after just 0 plus that is minus 3x minus 3x the value bracket with the minus 1 minus 1 because minus 3x lies on the interval minus 1 to 0 so it's bracket with it minus 1 ok now to find RHL. Okay. Now RHL at x equal to minus 11 by 3. That is a for minus 11 by 3 plus 0. That is limit x tends to minus 11 by 3 plus a for x. That is limit x approaches 0 plus a of minus 11 by 3 plus x. Ok. That is limit x approaches to 0 plus that is 3 into minus 11 by 3 plus x uh, plus x plus 11. Ok. So that is equal to Open the bracket, we get limit x approaches to 0 plus minus 11 plus 3x plus 11. Now, 11 will cancel the limit x approaches to 0 plus 3x. Now 3x lies in the interval 0 to 1. So it is bracketed with which? 0. Now here to this, these 3 are not equal. These 3 are not equal. Hence this function is not continuous. Not continuous. R x equal to minus 11 by 3. Since f of minus 11 by 3 is equal to, is not equal to f of minus 11 by 3 minus 0. Okay, so f is not continuous, continuous at x equal to minus 11 by 3. Okay, look this. Now, example 2. fx equal to sin pi bracket x by 2. At x to 0, we have to check continuity of this function. Okay, now the formula. Value of fx 
वैल्यू ऑफ एफ एक्स आर एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो मान लिया एफ एक्स इक्वल टू साइन पाई ब्रैकेट एक्स बाई ओके ना एफ ऑफ जीरो ना पूट एक्स को जीरो इन दिस वी गेट साइन पाई जीरो बाई टू जीरो इंटीजर सो ब्रैकेट में लिख जीरो पाई टू जीरो जीरो सो वी गेट साइन जीरो डाटी जीरो सो डायरेक्ट वैल्यू और फंक्शनल वैल्यू ऑफ एफएक्स आर एक्स को जीरो इक्वल टू जीरो ओके नाउ टू फाइंड एलएचएल एलएचएल आर एक्स इक्वल टू जीरो डाटी ए बार जीरो माइनस जीरो तो लिमिट एक्स टेंस टू जीरो माइनस एफ एक्स डाटी लिमिट एक्स आप तो जस्ट जीरो बार ए बार जीरो माइनस एक्स डाटी इक्वल टू लिमिट एक्स आप तो जस्ट जीरो प्लस ए बार माइनस एक्स ए बार माइनस एक्स इफ एक बार पे एक्स इक्वल टू साइन पाई ब्रैकेट एक्स बाय टू तो ए बार पे माइनस एक्स इक्वल हाफ बस साइन पाई ब्रैकेट माइनस एक्स बाय टू डेट इज लिमिट एक्स आप तो जस्ट जीरो प्लस साइन पाई माइनस एक्स ब्रैकेट वैल्यू अपन now minus x ka bracket mein na minus x lies in between minus 1 to 0 so least number is minus 1 so bracket minus x is equal to minus 1 so limit x up to 0 plus psi pi minus 1 by 2 that is limit x up to 0 plus psi minus pi by 2 that is Limit x up to the zero plus minus one because sine minus of pi by two. That is minus of sine pi by two, or you can write it this way: minus sine pi by two. That is limit x up to zero plus minus one. That is minus one. Now look this here: functional value. Is not in, not equal to LHL, so function is discontinuous. That means function is equal not continuous. R x equal to zero. Now you may find in RHL, but it is not necessary to find RHL because these two are not equal. So right, uh, since since f of zero is not equal to A of zero minus zero, so f x is not continuous. Is not continuous at x equal to zero. Okay, look this. Now to check continuity of cosine function. Okay, because cosine function is only defined for each x, so we have to check continuity of f x to cos x at x is equal to alpha. Okay, so for continuity we have to find three values: one functional value, two left hand limit, three right hand limit. If these three are equal, then that is continuous. If any two are not equal, then that is This continues. Okay, let's do this. Now, value of f x at x equal to alpha. Okay, that is f of alpha equal to how much? Cos alpha. Now to find f of alpha minus zero. This is called LHL. Okay, the, that is limit x tends to alpha minus f x. That is limit x approaches zero plus a bar x minus 
Now look this. F x equal to g x minus g one by x minus one at x one. We have to check continuity of f x at x one. But where g x is equal to x minus one. Okay. Now leave it, leave this for one minute. Look this what I am saying. For continuity, what is your first one? Your first one is your find f of y or f of t. If this is finite, then go to step two. Then go to step two. In the step two, you want find left hand limit. Okay. If this is finite and these two are equal, then go to third step. Then go to third step. That is a plus a plus g. Okay. This is finite. If these three are equal, then we say continuous. Okay. If this is continuous, this is continuous. Okay. If f of a, if f of a is undefined, if f of a is undefined, <coughs> then function is not continuous at the today. That means. You work is finished. If a of a is finite, then go to second step. A of a minus one zero. Okay. If these are not equal, then go. Then don't go to third step. That means in this step you are finished. That means this function is not continuous at x zero. Okay. So using this, we have to solve this question. Now here, find a of one means directly that is g of one minus g of one upon one minus one. Now this is the form. This is the form <coughs> that is g of g of x is how much? G of x is equal to x minus one mod. Now g of one. One minus one mod zero mod zero mod is zero. Okay, zero mod is zero zero by zero, which is all determinant for. That means f of one is not defined. Is not defined. Since f of one is f of one x is not defined at f of one, therefore function is discontinuous. That means You don't necessarily find these two steps. Okay, so effect <coughs> effect is not continuous. Effect is not continuous at x equal to one. Okay, look this. Way. 